So if you think about it, African Americans are the original farmers in this in the New World. And yet, if you look at our data presently, only about 2% of American land is farmed by African Americans. So we have lost our foothold in the agricultural economy, as well as we have lost the foothold to control what comes into our bodies. And now it's controlled by everybody else other than us. And in essence, I, I urge anybody listening to this to look in your community. Look at how many dialysis centers you have. Look at may, how many clinics treating diabetes or cardiovascular disease that surround you. And then look at how many dollar stores that you have surrounding you or uh, subsidized grocery stores that like save a lot, that carry a lot of very processed foods that surround you. My friends, all that is just canned poison that you're feeding your bodies. And so when I look at this work, it's not just, it's not just the, the role of the church to save the soul, but we have to save our people while we're here. And that is why this is so important. But it's also pertinent in this time in our history as uh, people of the African diaspora. Have you noticed how many rights are being stripped away from our people? The only reason that is happening is because we have gone away from our cultural traditions, which include coming together in faith traditions to do the important work of community. So I think food security, addressing food security, brings everybody to literally the table. And then once we get to the table, we can start to work on the other issues that are hurting and most of the time killing our people. So that's why this is so important to me.